Good evening. I'm Jamie Lyle. While Rhoda says he supports the HST legislation bill, he is encouraging the provinces to consult with everyone who might be affected by the legislation. Robbie's friends have created a Facebook page and so far nearly 1,300 people have joined. Anyone with information is asked to call the OPP or Robbie's immediate family. Jamie Lyle, Kojiko North Bay News. Dr. Chirico says that recognizing the symptoms of H1N1 and understanding what to do when a loved one is infected is key in helping prevent the spread of the disease. While the coach says that back-to-back -back wins are nice for the team, he admits that there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. The Trappers will begin their break starting on Sunday and be back on the ice as a team on December 27th. If I wanted to do the same thing over again, I would probably do it the same way because it makes the most sense. Uh, we've clearly been able to, you know, we've been able to sustain ourselves and propel ourselves forward and use that momentum. Oh geez, I kind of, I personally uh, draw from everything, everything around me. I, you, I pay attention to, I'm kind of observant, really overly observant. And so you watch kind of everything that happens and you hear a story or you see a reaction to something. Everything, there's a story in everything. Did you ever think that when you started, when you put out that first album, that you had such longevity? I think I on, always hoped I would. You know, because um, I really started it as a vocation. I never, I mean, I really, right off the get-go, knew I wanted to do it for, my, for the rest of my life. Yeah, so I think everyone hopes that that's gonna, the way it's going to go, and it, it, but you never know, I suppose. And I, I quit school early and, and hit the road when I was pretty young, so um, I'm really glad it worked out, because otherwise it would have been a real drag. <laughs> Welcome to the 60th anniversary of the Gateway Theater Guild. A good theater has to be truthful. The audience was standing and it was like... Electricity. We were so nervous and we were so... We cared so much about getting our lines right. And she was playing the piano and she was up there pounding on the piano. I don't know whether she could play the piano or not. There's nothing more rewarding than people jumping to their feet at the end. Been around a long time. How's <laughs> that for a good start? Very funny and very touching, and she brings the two lovers back together. The Gateway Theatre Guild began its inception back in 1948. Local director and first president of the Guild, Gordon Lee, along with fellow executive member and producer Stephen Franklin, had a mission for the Guild. I had a very busy summer and like a lot of fun during that summer and I was still kind of hepped up from the summer so I wanted to do something and uh, Gordon Lee, the uh, um, well, he was the director of the Gateway Gaieties, and the, um, and he also uh, he was you know the dance instructor, the choreographer, and uh, so he got me into it, and we, because I knew him, and we used to go dancing together, and he loved dancing, so he said you know he said we're going to do this Gateway Gaieties, and you know why did you decide to direct this particular production? I've always wanted to do a fray. So I came trudging up the stairs and I said, hey, Krista, it's a cabaret show. 
And she said, yeah, tell me more about it. So I kind of, you know, pitched a few ideas that I had. And she said, great, OK, that's it. And so I kind of went, OK, I'm directing a show. This is the 60th anniversary of the Gateway Theatre Guild. Uh, so we wanted to put together a show that really, you know, showcased the last 60 years. We've gone through the archives and we've gotten some awesome pictures of these great plays and, and these actors, you know, that a lot of them are still part of the Guild. And 60 years later, they're still doing it. And, uh, you know, there's going to be song, there's going to be dance. Uh, we have people from the community coming in to share, you know, because it's, it's just, it's arts and culture in North Bay. It's to show the amazing talent that's here. And um, I'm really excited. I think the cast is awesome and I can't wait to, to get going on it. I'm Jamie Lyle. Good night.